I'm back. I'm back, and I'm alive. Sort of surprises me, too, actually. You make me feel so good. All right. Well, I guess I mentioned I've been sick, and I have been. Okay, it's infected kidney stones. Found that out a couple weeks ago, a week and a half ago. Um, of course, you know, we go in and from a hospital, and okay, it's infected kidney stones. They go in and put a stent in me. Um, you know, hook me up to antibiotics. You know, keep me a week or so, uh, four or five days. Then all of a sudden, you know, okay, you can go home, but you got to come back. Um, so that they can, you know, put, um, 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 do the laser on me, you know, go up there and blast the kidney stones. So I go in there, outpatient surgery. All right, you know, it's 8.30, it begins. Uh, we had to be there at 6.30, but it's 8.30, it's going to begin. Now it's a 40-minute procedure, so, huh, 9.15, hour in recovery, 10.15. We'll be out of there by breakfast, you know, be able to make breakfast somewhere. Cool. Well, next thing I know, you know, 8.30, then I go under, and I wake up. You know, well, of course I can't breathe. they got friggin' tubes down my throat, and, you know, everyone's standing around me, and it's like, what the frick? Now, I know something's wrong, you know. I, I glance at the clock that they have on the wall, you know, just in passing, and I, and I know it's after 12. And, of course, they got me on this breathing machine, you know. <laughs> and I'm going, and they're sucking shit out of my lungs, and... Hard time breathing. I'm going, what the hell? You know, and I knew something was wrong. So anyway, I guess fluid got in my lungs. It took a lot longer than what they thought. Um, next thing I know, um, oh, you got to stay the night. Now, not only do we have to stay the night, but we had to stay most of Saturday as well. Um, but anyway, hopefully it's done. Uh, the stent's still in me. i got to go next Wednesday to remove the stent. Once the, you know, stones flow out, they send me home with a catheter. What fun that is. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, go back next Wednesday at 1, and I uh, guess the urologist is going to pull the stent out. That's something to look forward to. Yay! You know, let me grab the urowanger and pull this thing out of it. You know, it's like, Jesus, why me? But But it'll be over. So, anyway, I'm alive again, I'm up and moving, I'm hurting a little bit, still passing some of the stones, but hey, everything's good. So, hopefully we'll get back in the rhythm of making some videos and keeping up with this, and I know, uh, you know, done broke, you know, I was trying to go a year, you know, doing it every night, so, guess I already messed that up, but, you know, it was beyond my control, I mean, there were some nights, there was no way. So, anyway, we're back. See y'all tomorrow. Now, I got a cream cannery for Father's Day, so I made some dinner and I'm going to show y'all. Not that you care, but hey, I figured, hey, I'm going to show them anyway. So anyway, see y'all tomorrow. All right, here's my cream can, supper company can, my cream can. It's a two and a half gallon. Um, we're cooking a roast in it with carrots and potatoes and squash and corn and um, a little bit of everything, bell pepper. and So anyway, it's cooking, so we got about another 30 minutes. It's a steam cook, um, and then we'll see how it tastes. So anyway, there it is, cooking away. Now here it is. It's the genuine Ogala cream can supper company all right here's the stuff out of the cream looks pretty good so we're gonna see how it tastes now hey guys the whole family loved it two thumbs up I mean everyone raved about it so it was a great meal very great meal